welcome back to my channel miss crochet and coffee here and i don't know if you noticed but i finally hit 100 subscribers again i want to thank you guys so much it means so much to me that you guys like coming over and hearing my crazy stories so again thank you so much i did mention um on halloween about there being a giveaway if you have not seen that video please go up by and check it out i will link it down below um as you can still see i am still working on the firefox i haven't made much progress with it mainly because i've been doing work for the crochet magazine this weekend and it has not been going very well um i can't concentrate on it because i don't want to work on it and i don't know if any of you are like that but when I am asked to do something, it usually takes me a bit longer to do it because I don't want to. So like it was part of the reason why I stopped taking orders for my crocheted items and stuff like that because I just, I wouldn't want to. Like I want to make what I want to make. And I, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person out there like that. So it's not going very well because I don't want to do it. I'm supposed to have it done today, which... Uh, for those of you who don't know, today is Monday, November 5th. The little uh, quote I put at the beginning of the video, remember, remember the 5th of November. Um, that me has special meaning in my house because that is my husband's birthday. If you recognize that quote, I will give you 10 cool points if you can tell me where the quote is from. It's a quote that, you know, my husband gets a lot on his birthday with his birthday being November 5th. So happy birthday, Mr. Coffee. Um, hopefully he will have a good day. Right now he's sleeping. I let him sleep in this morning. Um, and I tend to do that a lot um, because with his job being 24 hours, you never know when he's going to have to go out to work. So I'll let him sleep in. So he gets to sleep in today, and I don't think I'll bug him to go out of the house. I think I'll just let him sit and play video games all day or, or diamond paint or do whatever it is his heart fancies. He's not big on his birthday. He's a, he's a normal guy when it comes to that. He doesn't get excited. He doesn't really care. Me and the kids are, like, super excited, and he's just like, yeah, it's just another day. I even tried to get him excited last night. Not, not like that. You're so dirty. Not like that. I tried to get him excited about his birthday by, you know, showing and telling him, you know, look what all you've accomplished in the, you know, my husband's 31. So look what all you've accomplished in 31 years. You know, you should be proud of where you're at in life. And, you know, a lot of people don't get this far. And where he is proud of where he's at, he just, just doesn't care about his birthday. And I'm super extra about everything. So like, I, of course, am like, we got to make a cake. We got to get balloons. We got to get hats. We got to celebrate. And he's just like, yeah, let's not do that. So I'm not sure what we're going to be doing. We'll figure out something. I'm going to make him his favorite dinner. And I'm pretty sure he, I think he has a meeting today, actually. Like I laughed because he said he would be spending his birthday in a meeting. And I'm like, what kind of a meeting? He goes, uh, because of, if you watched one of my other videos, I mentioned that he called, which I think is when I was making his heart tree. He had called me to let me know it was open enrollment for his insurance and his job will have a meeting about it to kind of explain to them, like if they get a new insurance carrier and they did, they got a new insurance carrier. So he has to go to a meeting today and he's like, just what I wanted to do on my birthday was, you know, spend it in an insurance meeting. You guys are going to be jostled a little bit. I'm going to try to stabilize you so you're not bouncing around every time I put something on here. Let's see if that helps a little bit. Probably not. That helped a little bit. All right. So, yeah. So, today is Mr. Coffee's birthday. He turns 31. So, happy birthday, Mr. Coffee. Which I, of course, have already told him happy birthday like 17,000 times. Because, again, I am super extra people. The extra does not stop when the camera goes off. The extra continues to go on and on. So... Anyways, enough about his birthday. Um, I hope everyone had a great weekend. I hope I don't keep repeating that like I did in my one video. I don't know why I kept repeating it, but um, I did. I wasn't able to do the best I uh 
video for the sealer, mainly because it has been snowy and rainy and cold here in North Dakota. So like I couldn't get the natural lighting I needed to show that the diamond painting still had shine to it. And if anything, it's a little bit shinier than it was when I finished it. So like he saw it back up on the wall because of course I made, I made sure to replace it because I didn't want to be all upset that I took his painting down. So he saw it and he asked me why it was super sparkly and I was like, because I sealed it. And he goes, oh gosh, you did the sealing video. I'm like, I did. And then of course he wanted to watch it, so we watched it. And yes, we do watch our video, my videos back whenever I post them. I have to watch them back because I'm always afraid of errors being in them. And I'm glad I do because I catch a lot of errors, like something will happen when I'm saving it or something will happen, you know, that... I'll move something around in my video, save it, don't look at it right away, and then as soon as I post it, I'll look at it and it's messed up. So usually my videos are up an hour before I actually post them. Hold on, Mr. Jones is kicking my table. Killian, could you not kick the table, please? So, get out of here, Killian. Get, get, get out of here. What are you doing? I don't have your ball. Sorry, he's playing catch with Daisy and apparently he thinks I have his ball. Hold up, do I have your ball? I don't have your ball. Stop shaking the table. Anywho. So yeah, so it has been a very relaxing weekend. I didn't do anything. Not that, you know, I do a whole lot anyways. Okay, he's batting at my feet. Killian, stop batting at my feet. He wants mommy's attention. He'll get attention when I'm done. I just got back from dropping the kids off at school this morning. So, yeah, it's it's early morning. You probably won't see this till the afternoon after hopefully I get to run the mailman Dan again. <coughs> Let me try that one more time. Sorry. Hopefully I will get to run the mailman down again because I I was kind of bad. All right. So see what happened was, right? Um I was selling my Apple Watch because I got a Samsung phone for my birthday. Now, no, my husband will not be getting a new phone for his birthday because he literally got a new phone on my birthday, which was just like two months ago. So because I got a new phone, I had an Apple Watch and then I decided to sell it because obviously I don't need it. It's not going to work with my Samsung. So I went ahead and sold it and I sold it to one of the girls that hit my husband's job. And so with the money I sold that with, I, you know, took my husband out to breakfast and bought him new work boots and got him his new video game for his birthday. And well, then I ended up making that surprise order, which if you saw my video, I think it was Friday or was it Friday that I put that video up? The crochet video where I was making the dog sweater. Uh, I made commission off that sale. And with that sale, I went over to the Diamond Art Club website because why wouldn't I? I'm addicted. I went over to the Diamond Art Club website and I ordered one of their clearance canvases. Now keep in mind, when you order off Diamond Art Club clearance, it does not have diamond protection. The canvas comes as is. And just because it's on clearance doesn't mean there's anything possibly wrong with it. From what I was told, the clearance just means that maybe the dimensions were off and it wasn't as big as they wanted it to be. So they could be revamping it to bring it out in a couple of months again, like re-release it. So there could very well be nothing wrong with it. Now the one I got um, was one that I seen on Stitcherista's page. I fell in love with it the moment she opened it, even though she wasn't very happy with it. I don't remember what size she got, but the size I got was like a, I think it was like a 52 by 60. So it's a decent size. Because for me, my sweet spot's 40 by 40. So anything bigger than that is sweet size for me. It'll have just enough detail in it. It doesn't need to have, like, I don't need to see her, like, skin texture. So, like, I don't need it to be super, super huge. But I seen it on Stitcherista's page, and they ended up giving her a mermaid instead of the one she had because she wasn't very happy with the one she had. <clears throat> Daisy, could we not bark at the neighbors today? I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. She doesn't care. But instead of the one she had, they gave her a mermaid one, which I haven't seen her work on. I'm not even sure if she still has it because I know uh, she gave a lot of her diamond paintings away to like Goodwill or something, if I remember correctly. 
and then she still has some of them, which, by the way, <clears throat> let me tell you how awesome this is. I did have a very awesome weekend. But, uh, yes, I did order another painting from Diamond Art Club. Don't judge my life choices, people. These these things happen. Like, I go to order frames, and every time I look at a frame and I go, I'm going to order this frame, boom, I hit the button, and it's like, you just ordered a diamond painting. Crap. Every time. So, yeah. So, I'm sitting here Friday afternoon, and I am so close to 100, I can taste it. And I usually don't stare at my subscribers, just because I know if it, it'll fluctuate. I have lost a subscriber, and I've, I, I, you know, it is what it is. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I understand that. Sometimes I'm your cup of coffee. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, you know, I, I, I'm at like 95 or something. And then I see my viewers go up and, you know, huge thanks to uh, Gone Off My Meds. She's been so helpful and giving me tips and tricks. She even gave me a tag to answer today. So buckle up, people. This is going to be a long one. That and I haven't worked on this barely at all all weekend oh yeah you're you're gonna be here a while because as soon as i'm done with this i have to go back to crocheting that freaking thing for the magazine so yeah i'm gonna enjoy this as long as possible um okay so let's start off with uh friday so friday i took my husband out to dinner or breakfast i'm sorry i took him out to breakfast because i wanted to take him out for some time alone he seemed to be in a weird mood that day though like i don't know what was wrong with him but then he he got happier when he got his new work boots because the ones he currently had were like falling apart. And I didn't realize how bad they were. Like he told me that they, you know, would get water in them. And I'm like, well, that's probably not a good thing. Well, here, like the one boot had a big hole in it and the other boot was coming apart. And I'm like, you didn't say it was that bad. And again, you know, we're not rich people. So he had to wait to get new boots. And I was like, okay, well, it's payday. Let's go ahead and get you new boots. So we get him new boots at what I like to call the boot warehouse. It's a place up here called Home of Economy. Apparently they sell any and every kind of work boot you can ever think of, male or female. And so we went in and found him a nice pair of Ariat boots because that's his brand of choice. And he was very excited because they are very super cute. Like, they are super, super cute. I love them. He loves them. And it was cute because he didn't realize his foot was a wide so he had been wearing like regular shoes and my foot, my husband does have a very large wide foot and he's not, of course you guys have seen Mr. Coffee. So he's not like a big fat guy or anything. He just has a big foot. Like he wears a size 13. So like in boots, he'll wear a size, I think it's, I want to say 11, 11 and a half, 11 and a half. So he got a wide and it's like a whole new world opened up to him. Like his eyes got all big and he's like, these feel amazing. And I don't think I'm even going to have to break them in. And I'm like, that's great. I was so happy for him. He, he was so excited. He's like a kid in a candy store. Apparently when you take him to the boot shop, he's like a kid in the candy store. So we went and got his boots and I was like, well, I need to stop by the post office because I have some packages to deliver or that need to be de um, dropped off. Now I, promised uh gone off my meds that i was going to try to teach her how to crochet because whenever somebody tells me they want to learn i'm like well it's real easy yeah it's easy to me because i know how to do it i i always forget that it's not easy for everyone so then like i'm like anybody can do it which anybody could do it i mean i plan on putting up a tutorial this week on a couple of stitches i think one of them is going to be the waffle stitch because my sister has been dying for a waffle stitch scarf and if I don't make it, she won't shut up about it. And I might get another hour-long tutorial on how to paint her toenails again. And I really, really don't want to do that. So you guys might have to suffer through that one for me. Because uh, just take one for the team, people. Because I'm, I'm not sitting through another one of her long, drawn-out tutorials. So, yeah. So I'll probably be doing a waffle stitch. Uh, a waffle stitch tutorial this week. Um, but, yeah, we get to the post office. And I'm getting better with not going so far off on the tangents. Hopefully. Probably not. Moving on. Um, we get we get to the post office here. And the lady at the post office is like, you know, hi, welcome to the Badlands post office. And I'm, I'm like, is that what you guys call yourself? Like Badlands? Because that's kind of awesome. 
apparently it's just the area where I live is considered the Badlands, and I'm like, I don't even think I want to know what that means because that's saying that seems bad. <laughs> like, why are you called the Badlands? It's not a bad place. I love it here. Um, so I'm not sure why it's called the Badlands. It's not bad. I don't even think there's a whole lot of violence here. Like, I see fire trucks and ambulances go by, but and I've heard of maybe two instances. Or no, not even two. One instance of violence here. And it was like a fight at the high school or something. And, like, I haven't really seen or heard anything besides, like, a house fire or an apartment fire. I haven't really heard anything violent going on here. So, like, people here are usually pretty happy. So, uh, let's see here. I'm going to push these over. Yeah, I'm pushing them. Don't judge me. So we get to the post office and the lady sees us and she goes, are you are you going to be um, sending off all of that? Because I walked in with a gigantic bag. Now, if you remember in one of my videos, I mentioned that I had a crap ton of yarn to give Wendy because I wanted to make sure, and I know things are tight for her right now with everything she has going on. And if things could get worse, she has even more stuff that just got piled on her. So like... I want to make sure she has something to keep her busy. Something that, you know, she'll have enough that she won't have to worry about, you know, this, that, or the other. I tried to give her an assortment of a rainbow of colors so that she had plenty to keep her busy. You know, because I, I, I know how hard it is going through depression and when, you know, stuff goes bad, everything goes bad. So, like, you got to try to keep your spirits up. And I've been trying to keep her up, her spirits up by telling her to stay positive. And I know it looks bleak now, but... You know, sometimes you just need that positivity. So I figured, you know, de-stashing my yarn where I've never done that before. I've never given my yarn to anyone. My yarn has been my prized possession for like a very long time. So I don't usually give my yarn to anyone. So like that shows you how much I, I love her. And if it wasn't for her, a lot of you wouldn't even know who I was. So again, thank you to Don Off My Meds. Um... So yeah, um, I was like, yeah, was, most of this is going to Florida because of course you guys know that's where she lives, but I'm like, some of it that's going to New York, one's going to New Jersey. I had a couple of packages, so I just mailed off everything all at once. Yeah. The box that we had to get and watching everybody put, like I'll put, I'll try to put a picture in here of like the box that we got and was sending off to her and I sent her a picture and I'm like hey by the way here's your tracking number for your box and she's like almost 12 pounds worth of yarn yep you heard right people and yarn doesn't weigh that much like I know all of you have touched yarn at some point like yarn does not weigh that much and the fact that I gave up yarn not only did I give up yarn I gave up almost 12 pounds of yarn so I was pretty excited and my husband was pretty proud because he knows I don't give up yarn so he's like, you know, I'm, I'm proud of you. You actually gave up your yarn to help somebody else. I'm like, I don't have a problem doing that. I'm like, my giveaway has yarn in it. For those yarn lovers, if you're here for crocheting and you stay for the company, um, the, the giveaway, you will either get three diamond paintings or it would still be three full kits. And I'll try to remember to put in three of those, you know, green boats and the basic uh, tool kit starter kit i'll make sure to put that in there for you know because i know how much you guys love the basic starter kits <laughs> so I'll, I'll make sure i put some of those in there but uh yeah like i wanted to make sure she had plenty to keep her mind busy so i gave her tw a 12 pound i sent her a 12 pound box so i can't wait to see what happens when she gets it and she's been, you know, watching the videos and she said about, you know, slowing the videos down, help. And I'm like, oh, yeah, they're going to help tremendously, especially when you get the yarn. And, you know, essentially she got the basic starter kit to crochet. I just wish I would have got to Walmart before. I'm trying to put this stuff away, but of course, guys, the static is real. I wish I would have got to Walmart before I sent out the package because all I had was the aluminum hooks. And I really wanted to get her some ergonomic hooks, which are the ones with the padded handles. But eventually, let's see how she likes it first. If she likes it, maybe Santa will bring her some padded hooks for Christmas. But, uh, yeah, so I sent off a couple of orders, sent off the box of gone off my meds. 
So I can't wait to see her face when she sees that box. Because <laughs> pictures do not do that box justice. And I hope her husband's home when she, uh, <laughs> when she gets it. <laughs> because I couldn't even carry the bag into the post office like Jordan had to carry it into the post office. So, yeah. That's gonna be fun. Um, let's see what else happened. Oh, we went to Walmart, went grocery shopping. I don't mind grocery shopping. What I, it's funny because now, and I try to, I try not to leave the house. Like I have seasonal depression and it's hitting hard. Normally it doesn't bother me. Not that to the point where I don't want to leave my house. Now it's kicked in really bad. And I think it's just because my husband has scared me so bad about how badly it snows here. That now that it's getting colder and it has started, it's not, it's not snow snowing. Like it's not like we're getting two to three inches of snow or anything like that. Not yet. But it's like it's like the it's like Mother Nature's giving me a taste of what it's like here. So like it's windy and it's cold. Just imagine the coldest temperature you've ever experienced and then add 15 mile an hour winds to it. And that's how cold it is here. And it's actually been not too bad the past couple of days. And my big thing is I hate wearing pants. I'm not a pants person like Diamond Painting by Donnie put up, or asked one of her little daily question things, and she goes, you know, if you could, what would you be if you could be a unicorn or a mermaid? And I'm like, I, I'd be, I'd be a, a mermaid, because I don't have to wear pants. And that's already, you know, right up my alley. I don't want to wear pants. I hate wearing pants when it's cold, and I hate being wet. So, I... I'm sitting here and it's freezing outside and I didn't want to go outside, but uh, I have, of course had to do some like adult stuff. I do do adulting every once in a while. I like to stay in the house and clean. Uh, I have really bad OCD, especially when it comes to cleaning and my arts and crafts help me get rid of that. Like I don't focus on, you know, there's a sock on the floor. Like if you saw the ceiling video and I picked up those two socks in the middle of the video because I can't stand to have things out of place. So where my husband gets a very, very neat house, my brain is constantly riddled like, I can't go to bed if there's dishes in the sink. I can't uh, cook dinner if the trash is full. I can't clean the kids' rooms if, you know, if the living room's not clean. Like, I have to clean things in a specific order. And if I don't think I cleaned it good enough the first time, I will clean the same thing six or seven times. I have vacuumed my son's carpet in his bedroom for four hours before. So I try to craft as much as possible because it helps get my mind off of the excessive cleaning and even when I get showers like I'll be on the shower and go okay we're gonna make this a quick shower 45 minutes to an hour later okay we're gonna we got to get out of the shower problem is I don't want to get out of the shower because why because then when you get out of the shower it's cold I'm not about that life people at this point I'm going to just live in there but then yeah so we went to Walmart after we got done at the post office. And I'm, I'm bouncing back and forth here, people. And I got to meet another one of my husband's co-workers. Actually, I got to meet two of my husband's co-workers. And, you know, everybody's just kind of, like, shocked to finally be meeting me. And they're like, we didn't think we were ever going to meet you. And I'm like, I don't leave the house. Not that I don't want to meet them. Between depression and anxiety and everything else, I don't want to leave the house. And I think it's just a culture shock of, you know, moving to a new place that's getting me. And when I'm with him, I'm fine. When I'm with my kids, I'm fine. When I'm by myself, no. No, 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 no. I feel like I'm suffocating. So I don't like going places too much by myself. So, yeah. So we went to Walmart, got groceries, went and immediately went from Walmart to go pick up the kids from school. And we just sat in the car waiting for them. We must have waited for like an hour because... We just sat there talking. And then at some point, I fell asleep. Yeah, I'm a horrible wife. I'm not a horrible wife. I was tired, people. He had me up until 2 o'clock in the morning every night last week. And again last night. Because he doesn't... I don't like going to bed without him. And if I do, like, and I fall asleep, he, I, I feel bad. Because then he's like, well, I didn't get a chance to, like, you know, talk to you or cuddle or anything before bed. And I'm like, well, I... I, I, I can't stay up that late. And I keep telling him I'm not going to stay up that late. And then I lose track of time because I'm doing something. And then I go, crap, I just stayed up that late again. Like last night. So we got him his video game for his birthday. He was all excited. 
guys, I'm getting so far on this right now. Like, I can't tell you how happy this makes me right now because I've been dying to work on this Firefox. So, now we're going to change from color 38554 to 378, which was a color I was just using before I started using this color. But yeah, so we went to pick up the kids and we were sitting in the car talking and the next thing you know, I see something move out the corner of my eye. And I always swear that there's something moving out the corner of my eye. Like I always swear like I see something moving. And my husband's like, no, you're just, you're just crazy. And I'm like, probably. Not, not quite diagnosed with that yet, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's coming at this point. Like it's a guarantee. So I look, I, I'm like, I, but I swear I see something. We look over, and this is this adorable little bunny. And I'll, I'll put a picture right there. Isn't he cute? This adorable little bunny is just sitting there chilling right next to my car. And I'm like, what is the bunny doing? And he's like, well, he's just sitting there chilling. Why is he chilling right there? Shouldn't he be, like, hibernating or something? And he goes, I keep trying to tell you it's not that cold. Okay, people. It's been, like... 20s and 30s here and my husband's still wearing a tank top like it's like 70s 80s and if you don't remember from previous videos I've mentioned about how I when I sent him up here he wasn't as I don't want to say manly but manly he wasn't as manly as he is now like he wasn't a priss but he he's a little bit more uh, rough around the edges than he was when I first sent him up here four years ago so like now like, the, not that the cold ever bothered him. He's always been a big fan of the cold. I've been the one that hates the, the cold. We're, we're so opposite, it's ridiculous. And so, like, he's all, like, in heaven because it's getting colder. And I'm, like, sitting here with, like, three layers of clothes on, and it's, like, 45 degrees. And he goes, this isn't even cold. Well, until my tough southern skin gets used to the cold, um, I'm going to bring this blanket and this pillow with me everywhere. And I do. I'm like Linus from, from Charlie Brown Peanuts. I don't care. Blanket. Pillow. I don't care. What, what's the pillow for? In case I get too toasty warm and I want to take a nap. Boom. I got the setup. So we uh, pick up the kids from school and they're all excited because I didn't get out the car this time. Normally I go stand outside and go wait for them. But it was windy. It was cold. I wasn't about that life. And why not let them enjoy their dad for that 30 second walk to the car? Because, of course, again, here, there are no buses. You pick your kid up. So I was like, yeah, no, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to pick them up. So we're going we're gonna to just let Daddy do that. So Daddy picked them up. And then we came home. And I got, like, I, I got myself a new couple of things. Uh, I got a new rip, vape rig. And I do vape. Um, I don't smoke. I haven't smoked cigarettes in a while. My son found out, we found out my son was allergic to cigarette smoke, so my husband and I immediately quit smoking cigarettes and went to vaping. And my husband, or my son hasn't had an asthma issue since, which, not that we smoked in the house or anything, but of course, as you know, if you're a smoker, it gets stuck in your clothes. At least now with vaping, my house always smells like cookies. Mostly because I, I, I vape very, like, sweet things. And I do vape in the house because... You can't really smell it, and it doesn't bother my son. And we, we, of course, don't sit here and, like, puff in their face or anything. Like, that's rude. But I don't, I'm not going outside. It's cold out there. Judge me if you will. I don't care because it's cold outside. So, yeah, no. That was, like, one of the plus sides to vaping is that I don't have to go out there anymore. All right, where's this number? Is it? Yep, it's this one. It's the static-ridden 947. As you can see, there's there's a, there's a tag along in there somewhere. Static doesn't bother me too bad. I just hate seeing it when it's stuck to the walls of the container like that. Ugh. Stop it. And no, I did not put a dryer sheet in it because after I made my last Drill With Me video, I uh, literally put it away and got to work on the stuff that I had to get to work on. So yeah, no, there's not a dryer sheet or anything in there. And it's funny because it makes them look clumped up. And all I do is kind of blow a little bit of air on them and shuffle them around and boom. They're not as bad. Which these H's are a little hard to see. And I think it's only because I uh, don't have my glasses on today. But So yeah, so 
we get home Friday and we try to figure out dinner and I had to go, we forgot to pick up my daughter's prescription. So then my husband has run back out to go get that. He was downloading his game, which is hilarious because it takes forever to download the freaking game. And so Friday evening, we sat here and we watched YouTube because I don't watch TV. I watch YouTube all day, all day. I've made quite a bit of friends on YouTube. Um, like last night, I was watching Rachel Ray, not the cook, the, the, the diamond tuber. Uh, I'll, I'll, of course, anybody I name drop, I will link down below. But I, I met quite a few people on her live. She does a live video. Like, I think, I think she's going to try to do it once a week. Hopefully. Because it's like the funnest thing ever. It's like sitting around and hanging out with like a group of your friends while you diamond paint. And I was sitting there getting like diamond painting envy because I'm watching her diamond paint. And all I wanted to do was diamond paint. But I have to get this pattern done. So I was like, you know, 20 minutes in. I'm like, yeah, forget this. I'm diamond painting. And the streams are nice and long. So, like, I absolutely love when she goes live. Um, I don't I don't think I'll be doing any live ones. I don't think. I might if I figure it out. But, yeah, we get back from uh, picking the kids up from school and getting prescriptions and everything. And I see that I hit 100 subscribers and of course my husband and I are jumping around the floor like a bunch of little schoolgirls. and then guys okay if you're in the crafting community you're you know the name I'm about to drop right now okay now we all have our our hierarchies and in my brain like I said in my last video my brain puts everybody in celebrity status like if I haven't met you and a lot of people know you you are a celebrity whether you like it or not oh well and, okay, so I'm sitting here, and I saw that I got a new subscriber, but I didn't pay attention to it because I was out of the house. But when I got back and I saw who my 100th subscriber was, guys, I'm not even going to lie, I almost pooped my pants. Guys, if you are a cross-stitcher, if you are a diamond tuber, if you, you know, use Metafast or, you know, I don't know. She's like one of the biggest names in the crafting community that I know of. Like in my small little world, in my head, she's like one of the fa most famous crafters. Like now I know she she's one of the most popular YouTubers for crafts because she can do like all the crafty things. And when I saw that she was my 100th subscriber, I, I'm not even joking you. I, I rolled on the floor giddily giddily laughing and like my husband's like are you okay are you gonna be okay i'm like you have no idea who this is and i'm trying to like explain it to him in a way that he would understand and he knows all about her because we've watched that's how i started diamond painting she's the reason i started diamond painting and she made me feel like it was okay for me to not only be known for crocheting but also for diamond painting you guys you'll never guess who my 100 subscriber was Freaking Stitcherista herself. Like, I'm not even joking you. I almost pooped my pants. If you don't know who Stitcherista is, she is the badass who doesn't care what you think. She's going to say what she wants to say, whether you like it or not. And if you got something to say about it, she is going to put you on blast. I absolutely love her. And I watch all her videos. Like, my kids and I, if you say Stitcherista to anybody in my house, they know exactly who you're talking about. My kids watch her in the mornings. Now, if it gets a little too rough around the edges, you know, of course, I go, you know, you guys go away. Because then they will say that she said a bad, like, Maggie's sick. So every time she says a bad word, and, and of course, you don't know when she's going to say it. But it's not like my kids are foreign to bad words. Like, my husband and I do curse randomly. And... So, like, she'll be like, ooh, mama, Stitcherisa said a bad word. That's okay. She's doing her thing. Leave her alone. She, and, and it's not just Stitcherisa. She does that, too. She does it to everybody. So, if, like, going off my meds says a bad word, she'll be like, ooh, mommy, Miss Wendy said a bad word. And, yes, they call her Miss Wendy. Um, we know another Miss Wendy. And, okay, so let me, let me explain you why they call her Miss Wendy. So, the other night, I'm sitting here, right? And Maggie, or it was other yesterday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, yeah. Maggie 
comes running into the room, and at 3 o'clock, I usually let her start watching what she likes to watch. One, it helps her learn how to tell time. Two, I, I don't want to hog the TV from the kids all day, and my husband was working, so I was like, yeah, you know, whatever you want to watch at 3 o'clock, you can watch. So Maggie comes running in, and she goes, Mom, I'm ready to go off my meds. And I'm like, excuse, what? No. Now, for all of you who know or don't know, my daughter Magdalene is epileptic, epileptic, epileptic. She has seizures, okay? She has seizures. Can't get that word out today. So she has seizures. Um, they're not life-threatening, but they're just annoying. And they're called uh, absent seizures, where she she doesn't do a normal seizure thing. Like, she doesn't shake. We've only had one instance where she shook, and it was because she was hanging upside down. She was trying to pick up something off the floor, and she went into a seizure and that's the first time we ever seen her really shake. And it wasn't even really violently. It was just a little bit. So she has seizures. And so she comes running in and she goes, Mommy, I'm ready to go off my meds. And I'm like, um, no, what is wrong? Hell no. What's wrong with you? No, I'm not. No. And she goes, no, Mommy, with the puppy Jasmine. And I'm like, what the, what? I was so confused, you guys, for a good two minutes. I was so confused. Sad part was I was even... I think I was messaging Wendy when she came up and said that to me. And I stopped messaging her to go, what are you talking about? No. Now, as you guys know, Wendy does like the Snapchat filters. And I was watching one of her previous videos and why she explained it. And I was like, that makes a lot of sense because I was thinking about doing that too. But then I was like, no, I, I don't, I don't, I want, you don't see my face a whole lot. And when you do, it's kind of like a little treat. Like, oh, look, that's what she looks like. I forgot because I haven't seen her in like a month. So, like, I don't show my face a whole lot anyways, but she, like, vlogs. So, like, you see her face and her walking around and stuff. So, like, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, with the doggy? And she goes, yeah, Mommy, the doggy Jasmine. And, of course, the moment she mentions the name Jasmine, Daisy, the German Shepherd, ears goes straight up, looks straight at the TV, and is, like, looking sideways and then looks at me. And I'm like, oh, you mean you want to watch Gone Off My Meds? And again, this shows you how much I watch, you know, Diamond Tube because even the dog is like, oh, we about to watch Wendy? All right, then. Funniest thing on the planet. And I tell her, I'm like, hey, by the way, my daughter just said she wants to go off her meds. Um, I didn't know what she meant. And I thought she meant like she actually wanted to go off her meds. So, yeah. And you guys have to remember, again, Maggie is six. So she doesn't necessarily know how to fully communicate good speech yet. Coffee break. My throat was a little itchy this morning. So, yeah. And she, of course, thought it was the funniest thing on the planet because there's a little six-year-old that's like, I want to go off my meds. No, no, child. If anything, we're going to get you a straight jacket. It is Maggie. They had, well, we all had a pretty lazy weekend because my husband had to work Saturday and it seems to do, like, his schedule seems to be like that now. And he doesn't have, like, a 9 to 5 schedule. Like, he works whenever a job comes in. So if a job calls him right now, he would literally have to get up, get dressed, go to work. If a job called him at 2 in the morning, get up, get dressed, get to work. Or, as, as of lately, get off your game, get dressed, go to work. So, uh, yeah, so we, we sat here, me and the kids sat here all weekend. It was raining outside, so I couldn't take them outside. And it was cold, and I got to meet, apparently my dog walker has a new girlfriend. He wanted me to meet her because he calls me Mom Alicia. And he wanted me to meet her, and he brings her in. He's like, like slowly bringing her into my living room, and I'm like, uh, okay, well, if he's going to play that game. I'm like, bring her into the light. And, like, she gets this look of mortification on her face. And I was like, yes, yes, she'll do. And she looks at him, and he's like, Leisha. I'm like, sorry, sorry. Hi, my my name is Leisha. Like, I wasn't trying to scare the poor girl, but she already looked frightened. So I figured I might as well go with it, right? Who wouldn't take that opportunity? Come on. So that was hilarious. What was it, Saturday? All right, so Saturday, what, what time did he have to go to work? I don't think he had to go in early, but he was late getting up. And why? Probably because he stayed up all night. Um, I don't think we did a whole lot Saturday. Saturday's when I met the girlfriend. Um, 
it's been essentially nonstop drizzling here. And I don't know what's more annoying, raining all the time or drizzling. Because at this point, I'm so tired. And I put my car in the garage this weekend because it was supposed to snow. And I didn't want to have clear snow off my car. I'm lazy, people. So I, I don't want to clear snow off my car or anything. So I go ahead and put my car in the garage. And then I get a message. Now, usually the car sits out in front of my house. And I have Snapshot, which if you don't know what Snapshot is, is that little device you, stuck, you stick into your car. And it beeps at you every time you brake hard or drive funny or whatever. And you save money on your insurance. Well, I hadn't realized it, but I had already had it for six months. And you only get it for six months. Like, a lot of people think that you're supposed to keep it in your car forever. Yet, no, you only keep it in your car for six months. Um, after the six months, they send you a box, and they tell you, okay, give us back our stuff, or we're going to charge you for it. So you have, like, a month to send them back the snapshot. No, that thing's going back today. The only reason why I didn't go out uh, this weekend was because the box didn't come to me until Saturday when the post office was already closed, so I couldn't send it out Saturday, and the mail does not run here on Sundays. So you best believe, first thing this morning, that snapshot box is going right back to Progressive. Take your snapshot box away. Leave me alone. Which is funny, because I think, does Gone Up on Mag work for Progressive? I don't know. So yeah. And then, I'm sitting here, and I was talking to my husband about the AliExpress sale. Now, I'm broke now. Like, I bought my diamond paintings that I'm going to buy. I spent the rest of the money that we had extra this week to, to buy stuff. Um, I, hold on. Daisy, be nice. Stop barking at people. That That's not what I meant. I didn't mean, hold on, guys. I'm going to pause. All right. I think she's done barking now. But where was I? I don't remember. But yeah, so I had to take the snapshot thing back. And of course, he doesn't bring in... I, I didn't check the mail Saturday. He checks it Sunday. Or no, I got it out of the mail Saturday. And Sunday, the post office was closed. So I went... Of course, you know, the snapshot thing comes in the mail today because my car's in the garage. But you best believe the first thing I did when I got in that car this morning was I ripped that snapshot out my car so fast. Oh my gosh. Now, I have what is called a lead foot, people. And with my lead foot, I tend to drive a little bit faster. And I'm not used to driving in North Dakota yet, mainly because I refuse to leave the house. I normally would, when I move to a new place, I will get out and explore. But moving around so much as a kid, I've kind of gotten into this set of I get really depressed when I move. And on top of leaving, and of course you guys are going to hear Killian Jones going at that water dish like, you know, it owes him money. Killian! Can we please save some water for the fish? He doesn't care about life, people. Um, I'm going to pause because I don't even want to hear that. Okay, now that he's done slurping his water, that's kind of annoying. I know. I'm not going to apologize for him. I'll make him apologize. Um, so, yeah. Um, I, I got the snapshot out of my car this morning, which was nice. But then I bought a new vape rig. Now, my new vape rig... I'm not going to show it, obviously, because I know there are some people that are against vaping and smoking, and that's fine. You know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Don't get upset because somebody doesn't share the same opinion as you. But uh, I got a new vape rig, and it was messed up. When I got it out of the box, the screen was a little, like, the pixels were messed up. And I, I of course, with my OCD, I can't have that. I thought I would be able to handle it. You no. Know, I handled it for three days, long enough for the store to open up again, and then I went back this morning first thing and took it back, and I was like, you guys got to give me a new one. And, of course, the one I got was a rainbow one. It's black and rainbow, and I love rainbow. I love rainbow everything. So everything, every rig I've ever had has had some kind of rainbow to it. The, the nicer ones, not the newer ones, or the beginning ones I had. But the, the ones I've gotten recently have had the rainbow uh, effect to them. And I got kind of upset because she didn't have any more in the box, but she had the display. And I'm like, you know what? I don't even care at this point. As long as the screen works, I don't care. So I was able to replace that. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, but no, we were. I was talking to Jordan about the AliExpress sale, and I already spent all my money for this, you know, time frame. I I do get an, an allowance 
Because, again, we're not rich, and if I didn't have an allowance, I would go absolutely bonkers buying diamond paintings. I already have, at this current moment, I think I have five or six on the way. I have a custom that I ordered from the Rachel store. I got contacted by this place called Diamond Express on Instagram, and then I did something I was been, I've been afraid to do. I just want to do it and get it over with to see how the experience is. My dad also ordered from them. Paint with diamonds, people. Y'all say a prayer that this thing comes in good condition and that it uh, has all of its diamonds. Because if it does not, I am going, I'm going to be very sad. Anyways, which by the way, if you did, guys hadn't heard, if you live on the East Coast and your packages have to go through Baltimore and you are expecting a package, don't expect it anytime soon. Um, apparently their facility in Baltimore, the ceiling came in, like it caved in, something fell on it or something. I don't remember what my dad said. Something happened to the, the place in Baltimore. And so like their warehouse where they keep all like the Amazon stuff and everything else, like all the packaging and stuff, the ceiling caved in. So like my dad had a package, like a diamond painting he was waiting for, and it stuck in Baltimore because of the, the damage to the building. So he's not even sure when it's coming and I was like well when are you supposed to get it he was supposed to get it yesterday and I don't think he got it yesterday so um luckily for him his mail actually runs on Sundays unlike here so if you are expecting a package from anywhere on the east coast that has to go through Baltimore I wouldn't be expecting it anytime soon so just a little tidbit there a little information but no we were talking about the AliExpress sale and to me that's not a sale now, I have stuff in my shopping cart on AliExpress, and then Rachel, I think, said she was going to explain it more or something to me. Now, when I went on AliExpress last night, I checked, and I had a $50 coupon to use for the sale. And I'm like, that can't be right. And I will tell you if it is right when 11.11 comes, because um, if I am allowed to use $50 worth of coupons, you best believe I'm going to. Especially if I don't rather have to pay anything, because, again, I'm broke, people. I'm broke. I hadn't planned on buying anything from them because if I do buy a diamond painting, I buy one right when I know I'm going to be finishing up another one. And even though I have a, a small stash of diamond paintings, like I'm not, I'm no Ella. Like I don't have 200 just stashed away. Like that woman has like the paradise of diamond paintings. Did you guys see that inventory video? I sat here with my mouth wide open the entire time. Like God bless her. Like she has every freaking diamond painting in its own little spot all the bags organized and everything i don't know how she does it i don't know how she does it but it was a glorious video absolutely enjoyed watching it uh she's one of my favorites to watch besides like gone off my meds and stitcherista uh there's a couple of other people i watch like rachel i love watching rachel because she has chickens and my daughter will always ask me can we watch the girl with the chickens and i'm like her name is rachel but yes we will watch rachel and, of course, as soon as I say Rachel, my husband goes, oh, you mean Rachel with the pots? And I'm like, she doesn't have it. She has pots, obviously, somewhere. But, like, no, that's not. Like, he, he, he's, he's, he thinks he's funny. He's not funny. But uh, Rachel Ray is one of the ones I like to watch. I can't get into some of the other bigger names of Diamond Painters. Like, I'm not going to say their names or anything because that's kind of rude. But I, some, some of them I can't get into. Some of them I can. Like, everybody has their own unique, like, thing. Like, there's a reason why 120-some-odd people are subscribed to my channel. I'm apparently your cup of coffee. Um, but I'm not everybody's cup of coffee, and I understand that. And just, like, I'm allowed to have people that aren't my cup of coffee. And there's a couple of people, like, I just... And it's stupid little things, like... The one lady holds her dog a lot. And, like, it was funny, because I was watching her this weekend, just because, you know... It doesn't seem like the people I watch have been putting out a lot of videos, and I, you know, uh, Abstract Crafter is one of the ones I love to watch, and she's going through some stuff right now, so she probably won't be posting as much, and, you know, my heart goes out to her, thoughts and prayers to her, hoping she starts feeling better. She announced that she's been ill, and I know Gwenny, from everything, Gwenny's been ill as well, which, did you guys see her make that whole chicken on Friday? Every time I, every Friday, I know I have to eat first before I watch her videos. Guys, somebody help me find an Instapot. 
I think I found one. But she makes these little Instapot creation things every Friday, like her Foodie Fridays. Now, take it. I'm Southern, and I like to eat. And every Friday I watch one of her videos, I have to eat something. If I don't eat something before I watch her videos, I will eat everything in my house. She made applesauce last week. This week, this week she made a whole chicken. Yeah. I don't know what an Instapot is, but I now need to have one in my life. Like, I'm wondering how I have lived without one my entire life. And now I must fi find one and get one. I think I found one on Walmart.com for like 150 bucks or something. Which, if that's the case, it will be here in two weeks. Because, again, I'm on a budget. And I already spent my allowance. And the rest of the money that I haven't spent for my allowance, I will be doing nice stuff for my husband for his birthday. So I can't spend a whole lot of money, or I can't spend any more money this week, which is why I was keep getting off the tangent of the AliExpress sale. But we were looking at it, and it says I have a $50 coupon to use for the AliExpress sale. Now, it doesn't say, you know, it, it's not the regular $2 coupon. It doesn't say, you know, you have to spend $15 to... It doesn't say you have to spend $15 to get $2 off. It just says you have $50 worth of coupons that you can use for the 11.11 sale. The coupons are not valid until 11 and 10. All right, cool. And then you can earn coins by putting stuff in your shopping cart. I don't know what any of this means, people, okay? Like, I know what none of it means. I message Evermoment, and apparently they will not be participating in the coupons part of the sale. And I was like, well, that's cool, because I never ordered nothing from you before anyways. And... For them, I have one design that I want to order, which I probably will order here in the next couple of weeks. But every time I think to order from them, I go, why not just order from Diamond Art Club? I can get it in a couple of days, and I don't have to wait. Like, I ordered from the Rachel store, and the last time I ordered from the Rachel store, it was stuff that she already had in her shop. It wasn't a custom, so it didn't take as long to get here. But it seems like it's taking a little bit longer this time for the stuff to get from China to my house. Because before, stuff from China only took a week or two. Like, if you remember, I think the last time I did the Rachel store, it only took 13 days. Well, I ordered from the Rachel store that two weeks ago, Friday. And it still isn't here yet. Like, it's still going through customs and all that fun jazz. And a lot of the times, that stuff will sit like that because they don't scan it properly. So, yeah, like, I don't know when that's going to get here. Probably by the time I finish this diamond painting and, uh, by the time I finish this diamond painting, I'll get, like, my ones from AliExpress that I ordered. Because I think I ordered that one from AliExpress, and then I have Paint with Diamonds, and then the Diamond Express place that it, I got contacted from on Instagram. Now, when people contact me, I'm not paid to do reviews. I buy everything that you guys see on my channel. So I'm not one of the cool people yet. Like I don't get cool free stuff and they don't tell me to like go to my site and just pick something out. Like that would be awesome. But no, I haven't reached celebrity status yet. Um don't worry, I'll get there one day. But technically my channel wasn't supposed to be a review channel. It's supposed to be just, you know, crafts. I'll leave the reviewing to like Abstract Crafter and Diamond Painting by Donnie. Like, you guys will get what I think about the canvas. But my channel is not really a review channel. It's more of a... It's more of a story time channel. It's more of a something to keep you... Uh, company while you uh, diamond paint. But I do like to give my opinion on what I think of, you know, these places. And, like, so far... The Dome Inc. and Annie by Fashion are the two places that I've bought from so far that I would never buy from again. So, and that, and I'm not, I'm, I'm reconsidering Annie by Fashion because Annie by Fashion is is an affiliate of not not an affiliate. They're a sister company to uh, New Frog because they all when you go to check out. The, the checkout thing takes you to the exact same screen that anybody does. So they have to be some kind of a sister company to them. But I'm noticing with a lot of these companies, and I don't know if anybody else has noticed this. If you order one canvas, like say you order one of their canvases for like five bucks. And you think it's a sweet deal because New Frog and them have, you know, free shipping. If you order one of them for like five bucks or so. In my experience, they get lost. 
they get lost in what I like to call the black hole of Chicago. You will never see that diamond painting again. So when people order from like New Frog, Peggy Buy, Annie Buy, any site like that, I always tell them, either use ePacket, spend a few extra few bucks and use ePacket to get it to you and have it sh like, have the tracking be able to be followed to your door or buy more than one canvas so it comes in a bigger package because essentially what ends up happening is they try to save money on shipping, which is why you get free shipping. They save money on it by putting it in the smallest package that they can physically fit it into. But then the problem is when it gets to Chicago and to the big warehouse, that little package gets lost. And you may see it months later down the road. Like I'm still holding out hope for that one from New Frog that I first ordered. When I first ordered from them, I'm still holding out hope it'll get here. I don't even care about any of the other ones, but that one I want. So it may come one day. It may never come. I don't know. All I know is if you buy from those sites, you have to buy more than one, which is why when you see these people doing reviews of the channel or the company, they have more than one because they already know, which I don't know why they don't tell you. They already know that if you order just one canvas, your likelihood of getting it is 50-50, which is pretty sad seeing as how, you know, yeah, it doesn't cost a whole lot, but you don't want to waste $5 buying something and getting all excited for it, for it not to show up. So like heed my warning, if you buy from those sites, make sure you take advantage of that buy for get one free sale. I mean, you're spending $26. Like that's what I spent for mine for the five canvases I got from new frog and Peggy buy. I, I didn't spend more than $30 and that's including shipping. So, Definitely word to the wise, if you're going to order from those sites, get more than one diamond painting. AliExpress, on the other hand, I don't know a whole lot about them. I don't like shopping on AliExpress, and I don't know if I'm probably like the only person who doesn't. I mean, I don't know. I've heard too many horror stories about who it can right now, and they're still having problems with their drills, uh, as they call it, drill, drill again. Like, drill again is still happening. So people are still getting canvases and the drills are popping off, which does Hua can only sell squares? Because if they sell rounds, why don't these people just order rounds? Or are the rounds doing the same thing? Is it not drills? Is it the canvases? Like, I'm, I'm honestly curious because I have seen so many posts on the diamond painting pages I'm on that I don't know what's going on with Hua can right now. I think they got overloaded and tried to pump all the diamond paintings out and they're quality went down because they had so many orders and got overwhelmed so i'm gonna follow abstract crafters lead and she said it herself on her channel take a break from ordering from them for a while give them a hot minute to get themselves together because right now they, they just they can't they're overrun they have to be overrun by the orders because their quality has gone down they used to be one of the best ones to order from off aliexpress and now everybody's like i wouldn't touch that company with a 10-foot pole so I would say if you're going to order something, order from Evermoment, order from, you know, places like the Rachel store and somewhere that you've already ordered from before and you know is reliable because right now who can need a break. They need to take a five minute break. We need to put them in timeout because these people keep ordering their canvases and yeah, no, it's not working out very well for them. So anyways, enough of a tangent on that. I'm going to have to pull this down now because now I need to get all these symbols up here. I'm actually getting pretty far, you guys. My husband, okay, so I, I got really flustered and every once in a while I'll have an anxiety attack that'll come out of nowhere. And I know, you know, this happens to a lot of people. You're one minute, you're fine. The next minute you have an anxiety attack. And uh, so I'm sitting there. I think it was Saturday night when he got home from work. I was just sitting there. I was fine all evening. The kids went to bed. They didn't fuss or fight or anything. They just went to sleep. Him and I were sitting out here, and then the next thing I know, boom, it hits me. Like a ton of bricks. The depression, the anxiety, life. Life just hit me. And where you would think, and I have been. I've been on top of cloud nine because of my 100 subscribers. Like, that is a very problem. Like, my dad called me, like, all excited because I hit 100 subscribers. And I've been on top of the moon about it the entire weekend except for that brief half hour. I don't know what happened and I got really upset and anxious and 
I I wasn't crying or anything, but I was annoyed at life. And I don't I don't know. Hold on a second. I gotta take in yeah, hold on. Okay. So had to restart it because of course I think it only records for like an hour and then it decides it's gonna like stop you in the middle of your sentence. But anyways, yeah, so my anxiety and tight attack hit pretty hard, and I was getting frustrated because the pattern I was working on was not coming out. And I've been known as the graph queen on numerous crochet sites, and graphing is what I am do. It's what I'm good at. It's what I'm known for. And I could not get this graph to work correctly for me to save my life, and I was getting so frustrated. And I didn't take it out on my husband, but... It, you know, he usually is the one that talks to me and calms me down so that I'm not all anxious and crazy. And he got me calmed down. And he goes, I know what your problem is. He he points at my diamond painting. He goes, you haven't had a chance to work on your diamond painting. And you started it, but you haven't worked on it. And he knows I never work on more than one project at a time. Now, I wanted to start this with you guys because the people that are here for diamond painting and my, you know, my paint alongs, they're not here to listen or to watch me crochet. Where I'm pretty sure you guys don't mind if I crochet or diamond painting as long as I'm telling you guys funny stories. Um, I, I don't want to bore you with the stuff that I have to make, and I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to show what I'm making. So I didn't want to do a video, which is why I'm doing this now, because I didn't want to do a video while I was making what I'm making because I'm not sure if I'm even allowed to show it. I didn't Again, I didn't ask a lot of questions about this pattern. They were just like, can you do this? And I was like, well, yeah. So now I'm doing it. I don't want to do it. I want to diamond paint, but this is a good way for me to kind of get my crochet game strong. So I'm doing it. And I got it worked out last night and everything was going fine. And then it was, I was like, oh crap, it's two o'clock in the morning. I really need to go to bed. Um, I am a huge night owl. I don't know if anybody else is out there like me. I'm pretty sure you are. Like I see you guys subscribing at two, three o'clock in the morning. And okay, I'm like, yeah, okay. You guys are a bunch of night owls too. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, you're probably right. I'm like, let me just work on it for a little bit. You guys, when I tell you it was like Christmas morning working on this painting, it was. All my anxiety and everything went away. Within five minutes, I was just back all happy and peppy. And that's how it goes with me. One minute I'm on cloud nine, the next minute I want to rip everybody's face off. And I don't know why. No, I am not medicated for uh, anxiety and depression. I refuse to be on medication. I don't like the way it makes you feel. I have been able to manage my uh, ailments, as you want to, if you want to call them that. I've been able to manage it with meditation and breathing exercises and stuff like that. So I don't feel like I need the medication. And as you just heard, you know, just simply calming myself down, doing another activity, doing something that makes me happy will help. So I don't feel like I need to be medicated. I don't want to be medicated. I was medicated for a very long time and I felt like a zombie that entire time. So I was like, yeah, no, no, thank you. So, yeah. So. I think all I needed was, I, I think mentally my brain was throwing a fit and it was just like, I don't want to crochet. I want to diamond paint. So let's make her all anxious and crazy until she decides to diamond paint. So that's what I did. And I only diamond painted for a good half hour and I was fine. And then I went back to crocheting on that thing I'm working on. And yeah. So like even right now, I'm fine. I feel fine. I'm happy. I'm excited actually because it's my husband's birthday. And if you don't, guys, if you, if you haven't realized, I do dote a lot of, I am the, I am the female or the male of this relationship, essentially, when, it, especially when it comes to like birthdays and stuff or yeah, birthdays and stuff, I get super excited. I get super excited and I am so extra whenever it comes to like everything about birthdays and stuff like that. I'm, I'm that wife. So I can't even really say I'm a guy because guys don't really care about birthdays, but I, I'm super extra when it comes to birthdays and stuff. So I've. I'm actually pretty happy that it's my husband's birthday, whether he likes it or not. And yeah, I would be making a big deal about his birthday, whether he likes that or not too. Like, it's his birthday, guys. Oh, because I've been bouncing back and forth. Uh, the restaurant I took my husband to for breakfast Friday morning was called Grandma Sharon's. 
I don't know if anybody's ever heard of it. It's a little cute restaurant here in North Dakota. And the reason why it's so funny that I took him there is because if you remember from one of my, I think I've said it in one of my drill with me's because I do so many of them. Um, my husband's mom's name is Sharon. So we thought it was hilarious that we were at Grandma Sharon's and they even have little cups that say Grandma Sharon. So we want to get her one of those cups and send it to her. So, yeah. But we had a good weekend. Didn't get, I didn't, I didn't do anything, guys. I'm not even going to lie. I vacuumed my floor so I could make that video. Like, I literally vacuumed my floor just to make that video. If it wasn't for that video, I still would have vacuumed. Just probably wouldn't have been in the middle of the freaking day. But, you know, I did my normal. I did laundry and cooked dinner and stuff. And we had a nice weekend. The kids, the kids were just out of sorts this weekend. I don't know what was up with them. My son, we're still working on the video game addiction thing. And it's nice because my husband understands that this is a problem that, you know, we helped to create. So we all need to fix it. And we're coming up with solutions uh, to essentially help my son get off this game addiction he has. And I don't care if he plays the game every once in a while. I just don't want him playing it all the time. And of course, you know, I can't just pull him off the game and go, well, I could, but I don't want to do that. My son is a very intelligent child. Like he gets and picks up on stuff real quick. And he rarely ever gets in trouble. Like he doesn't really do anything wrong. And I used to always say that he was my boring kid because he never did anything wrong where the girls were always into something or doing something or messing with something. No, not Orion. Not Orion. Uh, Orion is my sweet little boy. He literally, this kid never does anything wrong. Like, I think something's wrong with him. Because I thought boys were supposed to be boisterous and adventurous. No, no, no. That's my Maggie. So I always tell people that Maggie's my boy and Orion's my girl because Maggie's the one that will get into everything. Um. So, yeah. Uh... Uh, hold on a second. I gotta read something. All right, sorry about that. I had to deal with the Schwanz guy. But, uh, yeah. Um, I don't remember where I was at talking. So, anyway, hopefully you guys aren't too bored yet. It was a weird weekend. Oh, that's what I was talking about, the kids. But yeah, Orion's not a bad kid. He doesn't do any, a whole lot of bad. Uh, but my kids are at that phase now where food sucks and they don't want anything besides corn dogs and tater tots all the time. The problem with that is, is Maggie doesn't eat hot dogs and Orion uh, refuses to eat anything. Like he asked me because I essentially will make them the same thing every night to eat. Like I'll just switch it up a little bit. Like chicken, pork chops, ground beef. You know, those are my go-tos for the kids because simple easy and I know they they'll eat it and lately they haven't been wanting it and my son Orion goes mommy why have why don't we try anything new like why do we have the same thing essentially all the time and this tells you how smart he is he's finally caught on to mommy's little trick and I was like well dude because every time I introduce you to something new you tell me you don't like it and he does and it's annoying so I'm sitting there and he's like well I want to try something new all right so I make pork tenderloin because it's not pork chops. And he tries it and he goes, this is good. The first time I made it, he goes, this is good. The second time I make it, I don't like this. We made it again last night for dinner. This is really good, mommy. These are my kids. I, I can't make this up. And then it was funny because I was talking to my parents and my niece lives with my parents. Like my my niece said that, my, my dad said she ate something two weeks ago. And she literally, like, was on the, I was on the phone with my dad. And I hear her go, well, I don't like the way it feels in my mouth. What? 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 I'm like, you don't like the texture of, okay. And I have heard that there are people like that that don't like the texture of certain foods, like, uh, I think my husband's stepdad 
doesn't like the texture of like puddings and stuff, if I remember correctly. Which I've heard that before. But like with little kids, I've never heard them not liking the texture or something. And I'm pretty sure it's a real thing. But she literally just ate whatever this was like uh, two weeks ago. And now all of a sudden she has developed such a, you know, su such a picky palate that she doesn't want to eat it because it feels funny in her mouth. And I'm like, I can't. I can't even with these kids right now. But yeah, we're trying to figure out this gaming situation with my son. It's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And I think that's part of my frustration is trying to figure this out. And I can't normally when it comes to the kids, I'm pretty, I, I, I have, I know them pretty well. So like I can figure out like the basics that they need and want and stuff like that. Like Maggie for Christmas, she wants Santa to bring her a play kitchen. Cause when we moved the play kitchen, she had at our old place was hand, it was like a hand-me-down. So somebody gave it to her and it was dirty and I, I, I didn't want it anymore, but she played with it all the time. So I would have to clean it up just so she could play with it, which is not a problem. But I wanted to buy her a new one when we got here because it was then one less thing we had to carry or take with us. And we used a U-Haul to get here. And so, of course, to keep the cost down of moving and everything else, you know, we got rid of a lot of our stuff. We sold it. We gave it away to friends, uh, some friends that didn't deserve it, but they got it anyways. And so I told her, you know, if you're good, maybe Santa will bring you a play kitchen for Christmas. And I have every intention on making sure she gets that play kitchen for her room because she has plenty of space to put it. And that's the best thing about this place now is they, they have, and there's my husband's phone going off. You can, you can hear that in the background. Is he going to get it? Is he going to get it? Yep, there he is. All right. So. Oh, okay. It must be his mom calling. I hear a thank you. So somebody... He, his phone literally has been going off all night with people saying happy birthday. So he's like, you know, he sleeps through it because he's a heavy sleeper. Well, his ringtone is bang ring by Skrillex. And for those of us who aren't heavy sleepers, me, when you hear that jarring sound at four in the morning, yet yeah, no, no, I can't. It hurts my brain. My brain can't function that early in the morning, nor should it have to. So yes, no, I can't. I can't life. Um, yeah, for some reason when I cut this, it got cut weird and I didn't see it because it's see-through. And I know a lot of people hate these covers. I don't hate these covers. I like these covers. If you notice, when you use these covers, you don't get the bubbles or ripples in your canvas. Just, just going to put that out there. I don't know why that is. If you know why that is, you know, feel free to comment down below with why it is that with the opaque covers, you get bubbles and ripples on your canvases more than you do with the clear covers. Because I have never ordered a canvas from Diamond Art Club and had a problem with bubbles or ripples. And I'm just, I, I, I just can't get down on the AliExpress thing, people. I know everybody, you know, and if there's a particular store that you want me to try and review, please, again, Write it down in the comments. I am more than welcome or able to try them at least once, twice if I like it. So if, if there's a store on AliExpress that you want, like you're not sure about and you want me to try it, I will be your test dummy. Just let me know. But I, I just can't get down with AliExpress. I, I don't know why. Like I, I, I can get down without the Rachel store and I just, I don't even know how I happened upon them. But I'm glad I did because at least I know there's one store that I can get, you know, customs from. Because obviously right now Diamond Art Club does not do customs. So if I want a custom done, which I don't know why I would. But if I do want one done, I'll go to the Rachel store. And I did. And I did order a custom from them that should be coming in either this week or next week. I'm not sure at this point because it should have. I, I thought it should have been here by now. But of course the impatient waiting. Um. Is, oh, I'm doing all this off camera. Why didn't you guys say something? You can't even see what I'm doing down here. But I uh, I at least know I can order from them, no problem. And I have become the queen of this multi-placer pin. And now I feel bad because I ordered those pins from Diamond Painted by Donnie and my kids have been begging to use them. But their canvas hasn't come in either, so... 
they have to wait. They're playing the waiting game, which is another reason why it's hard because I can play with the kids only but so much before I have stuff that I have to do. So then, like, my son will go read or play video games. And nine times out of ten, he's going to play video games first. And he has a time limit on his games where he can only play for so long and then his game will shut off and will not turn back on until, like, the next day. And we made up this rule that if the game shuts off and he starts crying or huffing and puffing, he can't play the game for the rest of the day. If, which would, would obviously mean that, like, the next day he wouldn't be able to play. If he doesn't allow himself to play with his sister at all, he has to, you know, give up game time. So essentially he has to earn his game time. Sad part is he has no problem doing it. He was excellent yesterday. He didn't play it a whole lot. He actually read his book. He was playing with his sister nicely. Like, I was amazed. I was able to get so much done around the house because of him just doing little stuff like playing with his sister keep her preoccupied while I cleaned up a little bit and did laundry. And so he like, he's not a bad kid. Not That's not saying that Maggie's bad. She's not bad. She's a uh, Halion, as I like to call her. Halion means like she's a Tasmanian devil. She never stops. I'm just going to get these few symbols down this way. There we go. Now you guys can actually see what I'm doing. You guys should have said something if you couldn't see. I mean, all you had to do was say something. Yes, I know I can't hear you. Stop it. All right. So, Wendy, I'm gone off my mess, uh, gave me a tag that she wanted me to answer. And it's actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to answer that tag. I'm going to wait till Thursday. Thursday, I'll do another paint with me because then that'll give me another day that I can actually diamond paint because I hope to have this pattern done by tomorrow. Um, if not Thursday, I would do a paint with me and it'll be a throwback Thursday paint with me because then that gives me more time to be prepared for the tag. So I won't do the tag today. But I will tell you guys all kinds of fun stories. I hear Mr. Coffee walking around in there. As creepy as that sounds, like that didn't sound creepy at all. I hear you walking. Like... At this point, he's used to the crazy. You guys aren't used to it yet. You'll get used to it. Don't worry. But, yeah, it was a nice weekend. And I did my sealer video. And I still have on my monster slippers because it's still cold outside. I had to go get the car out of the garage this morning, people. And the wind hit me in the face so hard, I went back in the door and contemplated my kids not going to school this morning. That's how cold it was. And it's not even, like dead of winter here i was shocked and amazed because daylight savings time hit here in the u.s okay if if you live out of the u.s do they still have daylight savings time like i, I think canada still does but does like ireland and stuff like that like rachel if you're watching does ireland have daylight savings time i forgot to ask her on her live yesterday so hopefully she'll respond down in the comments like are we the only country that really does daylight savings time like is north america the only country that does that just saying. Asking for a friend, people. So yeah, so we reached, I, I reached 100 subscribers. So again, thank you guys all so very much. If you missed the video for the giveaway, please feel free to go enter. Watch the full video to get the full details on how to enter the giveaway. You either have your choice of yarn or diamond paintings. Um, I'm not going to say much more about it. I'm going to make you go find the video. Of course, it's the Halloween video that I made. Um, so obviously it would have been posted on Halloween. Uh, I, I, I'm still in shock because one, I hit a hundred subscribers and then I came up with the most glorious plan. Now my channel, even though it's called Miss Crochet and Coffee, I've debated changing the name. I, I debated changing the name cause I don't want people to think that I'm just here for crocheting. I'm not. And if you can see, I've barely done any crocheting on my channel. I do a lot of diamond painting cause right now that's what I'm into. But I can't call the channel right now what am I into. So, like, I thought about calling it uh, Crafting with Miss Crochet and Coffee or something like that. I thought about changing it. Because I've been known as Miss Crochet and Coffee for a very, very long time. And I didn't want to change my name when I made the channel. And I'm not even going to lie. I didn't think I'd be this popular. Like, it's been maybe two months now since I started my channel. 
and I already have 100 subscribers, and I cannot tell you how excited I am about that. So guys, thank you guys so much. You know, if you're not already a subscriber and you're still on the fence about it, go back and watch a couple other videos. This one probably not as, as funny as, you know, the rest of my videos are from what I've been told, but go, go back, watch a couple of videos, see what you think. If you like it, subscribe. There'll be more. Don't worry. My life just gets crazier and crazier every day. Like the fact that this morning I tried to put on pants that were my daughter's. I was half asleep. Okay. Okay. So let me explain this. I'm half asleep. And for some reason, I think I was putting laundry away yesterday and I forgot a pair of my daughter's pants in my laundry basket and they have their own laundry basket. So I, I put them beside my side of the bed so that in the morning I can just take them over to her room. Because why didn't I do it at that particular point in time? I don't know. I think I forgot, actually. But I just left them there and was like, okay, I'll get them in the morning. Well, this morning came and I woke up a little bit late. Usually I wake up at 7 to wake them up to get them ready for school because then we're out the door by 7.20. Yes, it doesn't take them very long to get dressed, people. Mommy's like a drill sergeant in here in the morning. So... I'm sitting there and I get up this morning and I'm half asleep and I'm exhausted because of course I didn't go to bed until two, my fault. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, I grab the first thing I see in the shadows because I didn't want to turn the light on, of course, because Mr. Coffee's in there sleeping. I didn't want to turn the light on, be rude, looking for pants. And in the mornings, I don't care how I go out of this. I'm that mom that shows up with the rollers and the slippers. Yeah. Yeah. Don't judge my life choices. I don't care. At this point, you can judge me all you want to. No, you can't. Don't judge me. Anyways, so I'm sitting there, and in the dark, I see something on the floor that resembles pants. And I'm like, ooh, look, pants. Put those on. Go wake up kids. Got it. Okay, got it. My brain's like, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to get up. We're going to put these pants on. Okay. I get my foot in, and then my foot gets stuck. And I'm like, why? Why is this happening? Why? What is happening right now? So then, for some reason, instead of taking my foot out of the pants, I then try to put, and they're sweatpants, by the way. They're not like jeans or anything. They're sweatpants, so they're stretching. But I can't figure out why my foot won't go through the hole of the pants. And I broke my toe uh, back in August or September, was it July or August? I can't remember which one it was. I broke my toe kicking a ball playing with my kids. And this, this shows you how dangerous it is playing with my children. Um, yeah, I broke my toe. So now I can't, I still can't work that toe correctly. Like it still won't bend correctly. Um, uh, oh, sorry. I still can't bend it correctly. So when I put it in the thing, I felt the sharp pain in my foot. And I was like, crap, tell me I rebroke that toe. Cause I've already rebroken it at least twice now. Um, but I didn't want to work. I didn't want to wear the walking boot. I have to drive people and it's on my, like l my right foot. So I was like, yeah, no, I'll just deal with the pain. So I'm, I'm getting my foot in these pants and I go to get up and I fall over, of course, because I'm half asleep and my foot's in a pair of, you know, six little kid pants. And I'm like trying to shove them on and I'm running out the door and I, I, I'm like, hold up. When did I get pink sweatpants? I don't have, I don't have pink sweatpants. And I finally look down and go, are you serious right now? Really? I had to go back in my room and find my sweatpants to put on. Because, of course, I was supposed to run out to go take and get my car this morning before the kids got up so that I could have it warmed up because, of course, little Maggie can't regulate her body temperature correctly. So I have to warm the car up before she goes out into the car. And I'm trying to go outside in my six-year-old pants. Yeah. And then, like... I wake, I go to wake my kids up and for some reason, okay, now my son has a full size bed and this is at least the fourth or fifth time I've seen him do this. He has a full size bed, shares, he doesn't share it with anybody. He has his stuffed animals in the bed with him. I try to tell him to take the stuffed animals out of the bed because apparently they're hogging the bed while he's sleeping. He will not take the stuffed animals out of the bed. And so he sleeps with his stuffed animals. Whatever, you're seven. So I, I go in to wake him up this morning and he falls out of bed. Why? Because he's clutched to the side of it. And I'm like, like, he's on the side of the bed, like the edge. And I'm like, you would think you were married and your wife was pushing you out of bed or something. Like, he is 
Spider-Man to the side of this bed. And I'm like, Orion, why don't you just sleep on the bed? He goes, I thought I was. Well, then why are you on the edge of the bed? I don't know. Okay, whatever, get dressed. And every morning when I go in my daughter's room, I have to creep in there slowly. Because she likes to scare me. Whether it be put some kind of scary toy on the floor or whatever or what have you. She likes to try to scare me. So she uh, decided this morning that she was going to hide from me. So I slowly open her bedroom door. And I'm looking around and I'm like, please don't let her jump out. Please don't let her jump out. Because the last time she jumped out, I almost punched her. Okay, now that's not my fault. I got scared. And what else do you do when you're scared? You start punching. All right. So... It, it, either way, she learned not to jump out at mommy anymore. I didn't hit her. Don't worry. She's fine. Um, So I'm like looking around in her room and I don't see her. And I'm like, okay, where is she? I know she's in here hiding. Where is she? And she has like a baby cradle next to her door for her little baby dolls. And it's a fake little one. She can't fit in it. But for some reason, you know how when your kids go missing, you look in stupid places like in their toy box, even though their toy box can't hold them. But you know they'll find some way to wiggle themselves in there. Yeah, that's Maggie. And right now Maggie's closet is full of toys. So I'm like, if she goes in that closet, she's lost forever. Like, I will not be able to find her. So hopefully she can find her way out. And I've already told her numerous times that if she didn't stop acting up, I was going to put her in that closet and she was going to take a trip to Narnia. And of course, my daughter is sick, so she has no clue what that means. Um, And I know it was a wardrobe, people, but her closet, yeah. Anyways, so... I go creeping into her room this morning. And of course, remember, I'm in a rush. So I'm like looking around. I'm like, okay, Maggie, mommy doesn't have time to play today. We're up a little late. She jumps out and she's like, boo. Again, people, don't jump out and scare mommy. Don't, don't do it. Again, 2 a.m. I promise tomorrow I will make sure the video has no yawning in it because I will be going to bed at a good time tonight if it kills me. I need to sleep. I didn't really get to sleep in this weekend. It was nice to have that hour fallback time, but... Uh, he had to go to work, so I didn't really get to sleep in. And, like, yeah, so Maggie scared me this morning again. And I'm sitting there, and every morning she does it, I'm like, one of these days I'm going to, like, strap you to the bed so you can't get out of bed and scare me. Just because, like, okay, picture being late and you can't find your kid. And then they come out and they scare you and they're like, they're like boo. Oh, I got your boo. I got your boo right here. Like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm one of those think outside the box parents, I guess. Because, like, if they're, I don't know how to explain this. If, if they're running through the house and I tell them to stop and they don't stop, what does mommy do? I'm not going to sit here and fuss and, and, like, yell at them. They're kids. Tell them to stop once, they don't stop. Tell them to stop twice, they don't stop. Have you ever seen what happens to a bike if you throw a stick in it while somebody's riding it? You know, that same thing happens to little kids' legs when you uh, throw stuff at them. A lot of times I'll keep like a skin of yarn or something on the side of the couch here with me. And if they start acting up and I'm busy doing something, I won't get up. I'll just like trip them up somehow or I'll tell Daisy or Killian to go get them and they'll go chase them down and like knock them over. Funniest thing on the planet. Don't worry. They're okay. But I'm one of those moms. I'm not like a, you know, time out type mom. My kids laugh at timeout. Yeah. I, I don't know why they hate my life like that, but they do. My kids laugh at timeout. They think that's funny. They don't care about sitting down in a chair. They do that anyways. <laughs> they do that all the time. You want to really make my kids mad? Look at them funny. Look at them sideways. Look at them anyways. They're going to cry. They're going to get mad because why are you looking at me like that? I don't know why they're like that. I'm trying to change colors, but... Of course, the static game is real, people. I will put dryer sheets in here. Stop fussing at me. Uh, but yeah, my kids don't do timeout very well. Uh, one, they don't care about sitting in no chair. And two, um, sorry, business phone call. All right, so what's our next symbol? We're going to do one more symbol. And then I'm going to free you guys from the clutches. And you're hearing my little case. Okay, does anybody else have these little cases? Like, aren't these things, like, the best thing on the planet? These things are the best things since sliced bread. I'm telling you what. I'll tell you what. Little Hank Hill for you. But, uh, yeah. 
my kids aren't normal kids. And don't worry, I'm not sitting over here just throwing stuff at them. Like, don't don't get your panties in a twist, people. Just every once in a while, you know, they're acting up, and I I can't just get up from what I'm doing. Like if I'm cooking something on the stove, I can't stop cooking. See, so you just throw something at them real quick. And it's never anything harder than like a ball of yarn. Like I'm not throwing shoes or anything at them, but like, like okay, perfect example. Maggie has a bad habit of leaving her stuffed animals like on the kitchen counters. So when she walks by and I tell her to put them away and she tells me no, one, you don't tell mama no. That's like putting baby in a corner. And we all know nobody puts baby in a corner. And so she'll tell me no. And I'm like, excuse me? She goes, I don't want to. Oh, you don't want to? So I'll wait till she walks away and then chuck her in the back of the head with it. And I'm like, put that toy away while you're going that way. It's going that way too. It was flying to your room, but you stopped it with your head. So go ahead and put it in your room because you stopped it. And she'll actually look at me and like contemplate what I said and be like, oh, okay. Sorry that I stopped your airplane ride. Yeah, that's how, this, that's how you parent right there. Make your kid think that their, their animals are magic and they fly when in reality you just chuck them in the head with a toy. And don't worry, it's not like a Tonka truck or anything. I said it was a stuffed animal. Calm down. Then every once in a while, like last night, my son goes, Mommy, why do you get to stay up late? I'm like, because that's the only time Mommy gets where she's not being constantly bothered by little children. And he goes, I bother you? Sometimes. I'm not going to lie to my kids and be like, no, you're sweet angel. No, you bother me sometimes. Like, yeah, you do. And he's just like, I know. I like bothering you. I'm like, well, why would you do that to mommy? Like, why why would you bother mommy? Well, because then I, I don't have anything else to do, and it's fun. So he knows he, he's messing with me, and he does it for fun. So then I like to do it for fun, too. So, like, I like to wait till he's sleeping and then go in his room and start cleaning everything. And he wakes up and he goes, Mommy, what are you doing? I'm cleaning. You, why? Why? Because it's dirty. You didn't clean your room before you went to bed. Now Mommy has to clean it. Payback, people. Payback. Tit for tat. I'm just joking. I don't mess with my kids like that. And I especially ain't cleaning up at night because I already cleaned all day. But I do like to mess with my kids because I, I don't want to be their friend because I'm their parent. But I also don't want them to think that they live in the military. Like, my parents were that very strict uh, mindset of, I'm not your friend, I'm your parent. And I don't have a problem with my kids, you know, being nice to my kids. My kids are spoiled, rotten. Are you kidding me? Like, I'll yell at them for something and then my husband will yell. And I'm like, yeah, don't yell at them. It's not necessary. And then I'll yell at them again. Um, and then I'm like, I feel bad. So then I'll go in and like play Mario Kart with them or something. Like, I, I think I yelled at Maggie for something this weekend. Oh, because I needed to work on that pattern. And I kept getting frustrated because I kept messing up because she kept coming in asking me questions. And I, I yelled at her and I felt really bad. So then I went in and played an hour of Mario Kart with her to which, you know, she beat me a few times and I was getting mad and I would have played longer, but she kept beating me towards the end there. And I was like, I can't take this anymore. So, like, I stopped playing with her. So, yeah. Parenting. That's fun. If you have kids of your own, you know exactly what it, it, it means to parent. If you don't, don't worry. Your time is coming. And if you don't plan on having children, well, you dodged a bullet with that one. Because kids are fun. But I did get pretty far. All right. So I don't know if I said it or not, but I'm not going to answer that tag today. I'm going to wait until Thursday. But, uh, yeah. So, I had a decent weekend. I didn't, I say decent because I didn't really do a whole lot. We watched a lot of Diamond Tube and Maggie got to go off her meds, as she likes to say. She likes to... She doesn't like to say she wants to watch gone off my meds. She likes to, she wants to go off my meds. And then she'll sit there and she'll look for like little episodes with the doggy Jasmine in them and she thinks it's hilarious. And then she even, she even, she even remembered because I had the bag sitting in my room for like a week because I didn't realize it was going to cost that much to send it out. And I was broke at the time, people like, 
So, like, she even remembered to ask me, did I send out Miss Wendy's package? And I was like, yes, Maggie, I sent out Miss Wendy's package. She goes, okay, because now, now she can teach the doggy. I'm like, I don't think she's going to teach the doggy to crochet. If she teaches that doggy to crochet, um, I want royalties, okay? And my kids know how much I like crocheting, and I would love to pass that on to them, and hopefully... They do like I did. Now, what I did was when I was taught, I did show interest in it. I lost interest after my grandmother died. I don't want to. I don't want that part to happen to them, obviously. But I, I hope that I can pass down my crafting abilities to them. Um, right now, Minna's at that phase where she, yeah, no, that's not cool. I don't want to do that. So I'm like, you know what? That's fine. You'll, you'll get into it later in life. And that's exactly what's going to end up happening because that's what happened to me. When my grandmother passed, I went into a depression. And it's not like I even knew her that well. Like, we moved around so much because my parents were in the military. I didn't know her that well. But it just, you know, she taught me a lot in the short time that I did actually get to spend time with her and, and see her. And so, like, uh, all right. sorry about that. I get weird messages throughout the day, and I would like to make sure I answer them. I have a diamond stuck to my foot. Okay, Daisy, look. You might not like my stories, but other people like my stories, and you don't have to make such noises. Daisy's tired of life right now. She's exhausted. Every time that dog walker takes her outside, she comes back, and she's so tired. And I'm like, I absolutely love this dog walker. He's 16, so like he has the energy to run up and down the stuff with her and everything, and keep her fit and healthy and where I still have the energy it's too cold people and kids don't have like I feel like kids don't have temperature gauges well except for Maggie Maggie's is broken but like Orion he'll walk outside and it's like blistering cold and he'll he, he won't have his jacket zipped up he won't put his hat on and I felt bad because the other day he came in he goes mommy why don't I have straight hair like everybody else yeah, we've hit that point where he's realized that, you know, he's different from everybody else, which he already knows that, like, his skin color, you know, is different than everybody else. He knows he's mixed. Like, we already had that conversation. But he wanted to know why he couldn't have straight hair like, you know, our dog walker or Maggie. Now, you've seen pictures of the kids. Maggie has straight hair. If you've seen pictures of Minna, which you should have, um, Mag Minna has incredibly curly hair. Like, it is ungodly curly. Orion got a mixture of the two. So I always tell people I ran out of curly toner with Maggie and it slowly started running out when I had Orion and I used it all apparently on Minna. So like my body ran out of curly toner. I don't know. Minna takes more after her dad. Orion takes after me and Maggie takes after her dad. So that's the re reason why. And if I don't perm my hair, because perming my hair makes it straight. I know some people perm their hair and it gets curly. No, when I perm my hair, it gets straight. So my hair was permed maybe two months ago or so. Like, it wasn't too long ago. So my hair right now is currently straight. And you guys see it a lot in a hat because it, I suffered a lot of damage to my hair because I kept coloring it because I had never colored it before. And when I did finally figure out that I could color my hair, I went a little nutso with it. And I finally got it to grow back to the length that I'm used to. And now it's just, you know, I just don't have the energy to do anything with it. And why should I? Because I'm not leaving the house. So I'm usually, if you see me, usually I have a hat or a bonnet on. Which the bonnet is that little black thing I have on my hair sometimes. But you guys won't see that. But he wants his hair to be straight like everybody else's. So I explained to him that, you know, you're not like everybody else. You're different. He goes, I know. I'm different than everybody else. I'm special. He goes, everybody's special in their own way. I'm like, that's right. He goes... But I want to be special with straight hair. Can I get a mohawk? What, hold up. Whoa. He, he literally went from one extreme to the next. And I'm just like, I... And I can't outsmart Orion. Because then somehow it will turn into like a math quiz quizathon, And I'll lose. So I'm just like, um, yeah, sure. Ask your dad. Um, when it comes to stuff like that, I let him have those battles with his dad. Because then his dad can keep up with him. Whereas even though he's seven... Um, sometimes mommy can't keep up with him and he, he goes a little crazy. All right, guys, I just realized something as I was getting ready to finish recording. I forgot to ask you guys some questions because 
um, I had mentioned that I was thinking about changing my name. Now, Miss Crochet and Coffee has been my name for my crochet business that I had um, for many years. Now, I won't be changing the crochet part. I might make it something like I said. I might make it something like crafting with Miss Crochet and Coffee. But when I made the channel to make it easier for everyone, um, I went ahead and just called it Miss Crochet and Coffee because I do do crochet tutorials as well. But you guys, okay, so I was watching Creativity by Gidge, and of course, I love her. And no, I don't have on Color Street today. I actually have my nails painted. Like, I painted my nails because they keep breaking. My nails are very damaged because I am or was a nail biter. Uh, I just recently stopped biting them, but my nails are not healthy at all. And I'm trying to get them stronger. And having the Color Street on them helps tremendously to the point where I'm able to grow my nails longer than I've ever seen them before. But they keep breaking. So I am going to figure out some way to get them to grow and be strong so they don't break every time they get long. Like I was playing with my son and I went to go tickle him and I broke a nail. Like this was my longest nail and I broke it. I'm so sad. Like it was really long and now it's not anymore. So I am going to figure out a way to make them stronger and so that, you know, I can grow my nails because I like having them, even though I keep clawing the crap out of everybody. Like every time I go to grab somebody, they're like, oh, you're scratching me. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm not used to being a girl with nails. So, yeah. Um, but I want to make some changes to the page or to my channel. <laughs> the page. I wanna, I'm going to be making some changes to my channel. Not so much like, you know, they're not like horrendous changes. They're just crafting changes. Now, as you guys know, I obviously crochet. But what you guys probably don't know is I know how to do more than just crochet and diamond paint, obviously. I can actually knit and I can cross stitch. And when I first started my channel, I had planned on being a floss tuber. And that's what Creativity by Gidge wanted me to do. She wanted me to be a floss tuber like her. And where I would love to be just like her because she's awesome. I wanted to do, I didn't want to get stuck on one craft. Like I didn't want to start a craft. And that be the only thing on my channel. Like, I like all crafts. I like knitting. I like crocheting. I like cross-stitching. I like diamond painting. And I'm still teaching myself to cross-stitch. And I had the best idea ever. So I was watching Creativity by Gidge. And this week she put out three videos instead of just one. So I was super freaking excited to see that. Um, cause I, I love it when the floss tubers put out videos and you see all the amazing things they make. And I want to be able to make those things. And I'm still teaching myself to cross stitch because I know the basics, the very, very basics of cross stitch. I still have problems counting my stitches and stuff, but I got the grand idea of adding cross stitch to my repertoire of crafts that I have on the page. And essentially, it'll be just like this. It'll be uh, like my crocheting stuff. I won't teach, I won't do tutorials on it because I don't know enough about it to do tutorials. Crocheting, I know just about everything about crocheting. I can read patterns. I can, you know, create stuff by just looking at it. Crocheting is my, that's my jam. But cross stitch is something I've always been fascinated with. And I first started watching Stitcherista because she made some of the most amazing things I'd ever seen. And she was the first stitcher to come up on my YouTube search whenever I decided I wanted to start cross stitching. And of course she would because she's awesome. Um, but I want to add cross stitching to my repertoire of stuff I have on my, my channel. So what I have decided, and this isn't going to be something that starts now. I mean, it can start now if you guys are interested. If you are, please comment down below. I mean, if you think, if you don't want to see that, if you don't want to, you know, see cross stitching and it'll only be one day a week and essentially I'll flip flop. There'll probably also, there'll, there will still probably be a lot more diamond painting than there would be any other craft. Every other craft will have maybe like one day. So I'll probably have like two or three days of diamond painting and then a day of crocheting and then a day of cross stitching just to give a vast variety to what I do. And if you're thinking I'm going to be overwhelmed, no, I won't. I've 
if I could record seven days a week, people, I probably would, but I need time to spend with my family. So, and editing and everything else, like it is a lot. So like, I, I try not to, you know, record all the freaking time. Um, so what I want to do is I want to slowly add cross stitching in to my channel. And I want to learn how to not, not cause I'm one of those go big or go home type people, people. Okay. Like I'm not going to start off by, of course, when I first started teaching myself, my husband was helping me because he, of course he can cross stitch. Why couldn't he cross stitch? Cause he can do everything. He's awesome. Um, so he cross stitched with me whenever I got my first little cross stitching kit. I have a book of obscenities that I can cross stitch, which I haven't cross stitched them. I've cross stitched a couple of them, um, but I haven't really, like I got out of it when I found diamond painting. Like I found cross stitch and then I found diamond painting and I was like, yeah, I'm done with cross stitching. But, but, um, which this video is gonna look weird because because I'm working sideways, you guys are gonna see my finger coming out the side of the screen. <laughs> But what I want to do is, uh, ooh, Abstract Crafter just put up a video. I'm about to go watch that. Anyways, uh, what I would like to do is I am going to order a pattern. Now, this would be the first time I order a pattern, so uh, Creativity by Giz is probably going to be a huge help in that one. And starting, I, and when I order it, I'll let you guys know when it comes in, you know, and I'll figure out a way to integrate that into my channel. Unless you guys don't want to see it. If you, do, if you guys aren't interested in seeing it, please let me know. I will not post it to the, pay, the channel. Um, I don't want to put something on here that you guys aren't interested in seeing. But then do remember, I can't please everyone. So if I have a vast majority vote of uh, people that w don't mind seeing it, then I'm going to probably just do it. And I don't have a lot of the fancy equipment like a lot of stitchers have. Like I don't have like stretcher bars and Q snaps and everything. I have a hoop. I have a hoop. I have a couple of hoops. That's that's what I got. So, yeah, another craft, people. What do you guys think? Should I add another craft to the channel? Um, and it's not like I'm going to be a, doing a bunch of these crafts. No, 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 no. I'm going to do a big cross stitch. Again, I'm a go big or go home type person. So what I want to do, and I already kind of found a couple that I want to order. I want to order a haid. I know, I know. Take a moment to let that sink in. A beginner cross stitcher wants to order a haid. Now, if you watch Creativity by Gidge, you know she's working on a haid and she just got a new one in the other day. Okay, so when I saw her get it in and seeing that they actually sell the kit with everything, you, essentially it's diamond painting, but with cross stitch, which is probably why they call it cross stitch diamond painting. Um, she showed you how she kits hers up and everything else. And I'm like, you know what? I can do that. And essentially when you get stuff like that, you just gotta stay in the mind frame. that It's one stitch at a time. You can only do one stitch at a time. If you mess up, that's okay. But it's one stitch at a time. And I've been watching videos, I've been researching, and I think I can do it. So what I want to do is I want to order it before the beginning of the year. I won't start it before the beginning of the year, but I want to order it. Get it kitted up. Get it set to my, you know, what I'm going to be able to work with and what's going to be easy for me. And then starting January 1st, I want to see if I can complete a haid. And of course, when I'm working on it, there'll be whipping chats. So you guys essentially will get more whipping chats because, you know, I don't talk enough. But you guys essentially will get more whipping chats and I will get to work on a really nice piece. So, like I said, I've already looked at a couple of pieces that I would like to see or that I might be interested in working up. But tell me what you think. If I can figure out how to put that little eye on my videos, then it'll be over here somewhere. 
If I can't, I will, you know, ask you guys to comment, which I'm going to do anyway. Just comment down below. Do you guys care if I add another craft into the channel while you guys work on, you know, diamond painting or what have you? Like, is that going to be a deal breaker for you if I do more than one craft on my channel? Which right now, you guys don't seem to care that there's crocheting and diamond painting. I mean, essentially, you're listening to me talk while I craft. So, um, oh, hold on. Okay, guys, like, this is going to be the Frankenstein of videos because it's going to be just a bunch of pieces put together. It's Monday morning, folks. I have school meetings. I have all kinds of fun stuff going on. It's my husband's birthday, so I'm getting more phone calls and notifications for him than I am for myself. So, again, I'm sorry. Either way. Um, so, yeah, so I want to complete a hade, and I want to see – not. And I'm not rushing to do it. Like, I'm not going to say I'm going to sit here and uh, get it completed in a year. I could, possibly. If I don't, that's okay. Um, but I want to I want to start one. I want to try one. Because, you know, I see it and it's terrifying to look at it. And there's like hundreds of pages of pattern. And where I can graph crochet-wise... Essentially, cross-stitching is the same thing, except for you're sewing instead of crocheting. So I want to give it a try, and it's something that I've always wanted to do. So if you guys would be interested in more whipping chats and watching me cross-stitch and learn how to cross-stitch and giving me pointers on how to cross-stitch and putting your two cents in on what I'm doing wrong or what I could be doing differently, adding a new craft to the channel. Now, it will not stop me from diamond painting at all. Uh, like I said, you'll probably still get at least three videos of diamond painting, but at least two of the days out of the week, I want to do one day crochet, one day cross stitch. And I'm looking to see what you guys think. So if you like the idea, tell me you like the idea. If you think that's too much, you know, whatever, then that's fine. Go ahead and put that down below, but just tell me what you think. Try not to be rude people. Okay. Like you don't have to be rude about it. Just, yeah, I like that idea or no, I think you should stick to just crocheting and diamond painting. I mean, either way, you're winning because I'm still going to be talking to you all day. Like, you got this all day. Or at least for the hour and some change that I make my videos. Like, this video is going to be the Frankenstein of videos because I keep having to stop, pause, rewind, and all this other fun jazz. I'm going to try to splice it up a little bit so that it's not so long. But I heard you guys don't really give a crap how long it is because you guys just like hearing the story. So, I would like to work on a Hade. I think it would be fun and cool, and I would love to see what you guys have to think or have to say about, and I'm changing colors, people. So let's see what color, 498. So I would love to see what you guys think about adding a new craft to my channel. And again, this won't start to the beginning of the year because I won't be able to order it probably for a while because I need to get through some of these diamond paintings first before I go ordering something like that because that will be like a one-time deal where I order that kit it up and then get it ready for uh to be worked on so let's see oh there it is i was about to say I, I i know i have all the diamonds for this why can i not find these things so i'm gonna do this last symbol shake 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 so yeah so I, I'm pretty excited about that. And whether I broadcast it on the channel or not, um, that's up to you guys. Um, because I do do other crafts. I do enjoy all kinds of crafts. I will, you know, try anything once, twice if I like it. Uh, so if that's something that you guys are interested in, or you don't care either way because you just like hearing the stories and you're working on your stuff and you're not really paying attention too much to what I'm doing, let me know because I really want to try working on a hate. And that's not saying that if you guys decide that you don't want to see it, that that means that my video will going to be fewer because they won't. You guys know I can't ever shut up. I said I was going to go how long ago and I didn't. So yes, if this is something that you're interested in, please let me know. Again, if I can figure out that little eye thing to put on my videos, it'll be over here in the corner somewhere. You'll see like a little eye pop up and it'll just like shoot out. If not, you know, just comment down below. That's not a big problem. Just comment down below whether or not that would be something you would be interested in me doing on the channel at the beginning of the year.
because you know those New Year's resolutions and everything. And I'm just putting two symbols in down here. You guys don't need to see that. But uh, that whole New Year, New Me thing. I I, I don't do resolutions because you know five days into the year I'm already like done with the resolution. Like everybody's resolution is always to lose weight, and at this point I'm like, yeah, uh, don't gain weight. Boom, got it. Like mad props to those who can you know stick to it. I have willpower when I want to, but if I really am not into something, yeah, no, I have no willpower. So yeah. But we're gonna fill in this little section here. Make sure you guys can actually see what I'm doing this time, because for one of the little clips I made, you guys couldn't see what I was doing. Hopefully you guys are working on something and not just sitting here staring at me working on mine because um, right now I'm just trying to get this section done because this will probably be the last time I get to work on this for today, which bums me out because, you know, I could have, at the, at the rate I'm going, I could literally have the entire like quarter section done today, but I can't because I have to, I have to get this pattern done for this magazine. Um, which kind of sucks because, again, I'm one of those crafters that doesn't like to do what people want me to do. I want to do what I want to do. And then if you like it, like, I'll sell it to you. I mean, I'm not selling my diamond painting, so please don't ask because I don't want to be like, yeah, no, I'm not selling my diamond painting. Especially since I've had three people message me already on Facebook asking me, you know, could they buy my wolf dream catcher? And I'm like, there's not enough money on this planet for you to give me for that diamond painting. I'm like, I will tell you where I got it. And like I said in a, a previous video, I don't like to do the same thing more than once. So I already completed that diamond painting. I'm not trying to do it again. Now I'll work one up for you. Like if you buy it and send it to me, I'll work it up for you, no problem, yeah. But I'm not gonna work it up for myself again. Like, no, no. And I know that makes absolutely no sense, but that's how my brain works and I'm okay with it. But I told the lady, I'm like, I'll work one up for you if you pay for it. And she went to go see the price of it. And she goes, it's kind of expensive. I'm like, yeah, tell me about it. I'm like, I'm I'm one of those people that likes quality over quantity. I don't need 75,000 diamond paintings. I mean, I love seeing that everybody else, you know, has a bunch of diamond paintings. Because then it's like, you know, that's awesome. But I just, I like what I like. And Diamond Art Club is just what I like. So that's where I go. Which kind of makes me sad because they were supposed to have a painting in this Friday and I have not seen it on their site yet and it's not for sale yet and I planned on getting it and I, I ended up getting a clearance one because they I couldn't find the one I was looking for and I really, really, really want that one. Like it just, it would match my wolf, my soul keeper one so well. And I really want to get it. And I don't know. Like, they told me it should have been here on the 2nd. But I didn't see it on their site. So I'm a little bummed about that. And if you haven't noticed, I'm just rambling until I finish this section here. And then I'll let you guys go. So, keep working, people. Okay, and that's not supposed to be there. So we're just going to pick that off. The best thing about having nails now is I can actually pick stuff off my work that's not supposed to be there. Um... So yeah, but how cool would it be to watch somebody complete a hade from start to finish? Like, I would start it with you guys, and I, I was explaining this to my husband, he thinks it's a cool idea, which I can probably tell him that I put a turd on a plate and he'd probably think it was a cool idea. He just, he's so supportive and I love that. I don't know where I would be if he wasn't supportive of my craft, um, because he knows it's what helps keep me together, so I love that he's so supportive. Um, but that's one thing I've always loved and wanted to keep with my channel was the fact that you guys not only get to see me get these things in, but you get to see me complete them. And even with the newer diamond paintings coming in, I will not start one of those. I've made the mistake of starting ones that I've gotten in instead of finishing the ones I already have. Like, uh, the one I'm referring to is the lighthouse. I had somebody comment about, you know, what happened to the lighthouse. 
Now, I messed up the Lighthouse canvas because I've never had to take care of a canvas before. Diamond Art Club's canvases don't need TLC. They already have enough of it to go around. So what ended up happening was, I'm guessing because of the heat and the cold of the area, um, the canvas started bubbling. And I had it in a place that I thought was a cool, dry place. Which it, it's a cool, it's in a cool dry place, but the heater must have gotten a hold of it and messed it up, and so the canvas got a little messed up, and I have to fix it. So I will be kitting that one up as my next one to work on for the Rachel store. That and I have it uh, that is supposed to be going in the diamond paint along anyway, so I need to get that done. So the next one you will see is the Lighthouse by the Mana Manahue. The Rachel store on AliExpress. Um, again, I'm not sure if I'm going to be participating in the sale. If I do, I will let you guys know. Uh, as of right now, I don't. At the prices that everything's at right now, and from what they're telling me, that's not a sell to me. Saving a dollar on something is not a sell to me. Spending fifteen dollars to get two dollars off is not a sell to me. Having to do all the extra work to put stuff in your cart or first add it to your wish list and all this. That's not a sell to me. Like, that's that's putting in a lot of work for a $2 off coupon. And I, I just laugh at the fact that, like, even, even, you know, paint with diamonds. Perfect example. They have, you know, their ads on Facebook, and you see them, and they're like, 50% off our canvases. Yeah, that's because they jack the prices up on them really high and then put them in half. And then they say, you know, you can get this canvas for $10. Yeah, the canvas is microscopic and has no detail. And they know you're going to want it to have detail, so you're going to have to spend the money to buy the bigger canvas. To me, that's not a sale. That's a scam. And with this AliExpress 1111 sale, if it was like, you know, 1111, so you're going to save a dollar and 11 cents, which from the looks of it, one or two of the canvases that I picked essentially were that. Like, they literally were only saving me 11 cents, or a dollar and 11 cents. Like... Again, I don't shop a whole lot on AliExpress. I would rather not wait the long wait to get the diamond paintings in. And you already know. Look at what happened to the last sale that happened on AliExpress. Um, sorry, that's Daisy apparently tearing up my paper. But the last sale they had on AliExpress, everybody waited a year and a day to get their stuff in. They came, It came in, finally. Like, I, I literally just, I don't remember when the last sale was on AliExpress, but I literally watched somebody still unboxing stuff from that cell like this weekend and the video was put up like two days prior so the video was put up friday and i don't remember when that cell was but people are still getting stuff in from it because it's taking that long to get to them and do you think they got their crap together after that cell i highly doubt it and what it does is put pressure on these companies to produce these mass amounts of diamond paintings which downgrades their quality because then they're just rushing to get the stuff out and not worrying about the quality so much, and then you get a crappy canvas that you're all mad about that you have to essentially contact them for and then have them redo it anyways. I would much rather wait until after the sale is over, the craziness is settled, and buy what I want to buy. Like, I understand some people are on a budget, and this is probably, like, the only way they can do that, and that's fine, but I feel like it's a scam. I feel like it's them ripping people off. Like, that's, and that's just my feelings. If, you know, I'm, obviously I'm, not everybody's going to share my feelings because I've heard a lot of people excited about the sale, and me personally, I think it's, I, I don't think it's a sale. Like, you can't jack your prices up and then go, we're going to give you 50% off. And then you go to look at it and it was like, you know, it, it was jacked up at a horrible price. And then they want to lower it, halving it off. Like, okay, so I was telling you about Paint with Diamonds. Paint with Diamonds had a painting I was looking at from my dad. And it was originally 50 bucks for a 40 by 40. Really? Really? Yeah, no. No. But with the 50% off, you know, it's only 25 bucks for a 20 by 20. Seriously? No. I, no. No. I did find two paintings on there that were reasonably priced. They're not huge. And those are the two I'm waiting to come in that are stuck or are going through customs now. And again, it's been a good two weeks, um... And they're e-packet delivery, so we're hoping, or I'm hoping, they'll be here soon. Um, so, yeah. Uh, 
be looking forward to those videos. But let me know what you guys think about the hate idea because I really would like to do it. But I'm not going to do it on the off chance that you guys aren't interested in that. And I just, you know, I like doing crafts. And this will help me learn to prioritize my crafts and rotate them in and out. And I won't be adding any other crafts, I don't think, to, well, never say never, right? I'm hoping to not add any more crafts to the channel after that. Two is enough, but three, you know, more the merrier. But after that, I don't think I would be adding any more crafts to the channel. Because between diamond painting, crocheting, uh, I don't, I know how to knit. I don't like to. It's, it's annoying, and I don't like it. Um, crocheting is just more of my cup of tea. So, um, I'm going to stick to crocheting instead of knitting, but I think I, one of the things I like about my channel is the fact that you guys get to see these things start to finish and you're not wondering what it looks like afterwards. Like I'm not buying a bunch of them and then you guys never get to see them. I wanted you guys to be able to see the work completed and then what it looks like afterwards. So that, and while it's still fresh in your mind, if I don't order a whole bunch of them, then you're not wondering when I got that and how long it's been since I've had it and all this. And again, you know, that's not saying that I think people who do that are horrible. They're not. Like, I mean, I just said about Ella and her, her huge stash, and it's glorious. It really is. Um, and again, you can hear my husband's phone going off, so I'm going to get off here soon. I wonder what he's doing that he's. All right, guys, I'm going to have to go because apparently my husband is not answering his phone. Um, oh, okay. It went away. But I'm still going to go because i got to figure out what he's doing in there. So, um, again, comment down below on what you think about that. All right, so I'll go back into my next clip where you can hear me rant more about something random. So, yes. If you, and if you can explain the AliExpress sale to me, again, please feel free to comment down below with that because I have no clue what's going on with that sale or how it's even a sale because saving a few cents or even a dollar off, off a canvas, I don't see that being a sale. Having to wait two, three months for a canvas to get in because there's just a wide range of people wanting these sales because... Just because somebody puts sell at the end of it, they're, everybody's like losing their mind. Where I tend to look into that a little bit more, and I don't see that as a sell. So, and again, I can muster up a couple of bucks to get something if there is an actual sell. But I'm not going to waste my time with that when I can essentially get what I want anywhere else that isn't having a sell or isn't, you know saying that their sale is, you know, you getting a dollar off a of canvas. So, again, I'm going to, yeah, we're just going to leave you with that. Go, go that way. I'm pretty sure I will probably have up some crochet tutorials this week. I should also have up at least one or two more Paint With Me videos because you guys like them so much. My Diamond Art Club painting will be in this week, and I'm not going to tell you which one it is. If you watched Rachel's live yesterday, you know which one it is. Um, but if you didn't, then I'm not going to tell you which one it is. You'll have to be surprised like me. Uh, that video, I will be going full detail into how do I do inventory for Diamond Art Club diamond painting. And I will do like a full shebang shebang of it when it comes in. Because, because it's on clearance, I want to make sure at least that it has all of its diamonds. Because as long as it has all of its diamonds, like... The, the bird's eye view. As long as it has the bird's eye view of the diamonds, and I just put those diamonds in the wrong place. As long as it has the bird's eye view of the diamonds, um, I should be good. If anything, I can just order more drills off another website, which I'm really hoping that one of these days Diamond Art Club starts selling drills for their diamond paintings, like extras, because we all know the quality is different from one painting to the next. You can get some really high-quality diamonds from one company and then get absolute garbage from the next. And I know I'm not going to find the quality of diamonds that I get from Diamond Art Club anywhere else. So I'm hoping one day, maybe, hint, hint, Diamond Art Club, uh, they will start selling their own diamonds, like spare diamonds for their kits and canvases. So uh, that's just give you a little heads up of what's to come this week.
as for me, I have to get back to making this crochet pattern because if I don't finish this, I can never enjoy finishing up working on my Firefox. And I got quite a bit done today, I think. Hopefully you guys got quite a bit done too. Because we all know it's nice to craft with friends. That, and if you're just watching me put drills on this canvas, that has been like the most boring thing on the planet. So when I, when I do these long videos, you know, just know it's implied that you're supposed to pull out whatever you're working on and start working. Because if not, if you, I mean, if you like seeing that type of thing, feel free. But what I like to do, okay, so I know I said I was going to go, but this is like one, one, maybe two more things. Um, what I like to do is when I, when somebody's doing a drill with me, I like to watch the drill with me. Like I'll, I'll sit and listen to it first. I'll listen to it. And then later on, if I want to see, like, if I actually want to see what they're doing and pay attention, I'll either watch the video again or I'll fast forward through the whole video to see how much progress they did. So like if you were to take this video right now and fast forward it, you're going to be missing a gap of space because I completed all of this already and I'm on to like the actual Fox himself right now. But if you go back when I first started, I didn't have all of this completed. So you can fast forward it real quick through the whole video and see like, like I just think that's the funniest thing on the planet. That's just something I do because, you know, you have to entertain yourself sometimes people like, can't expect everybody to entertain you all the time. Anywho. Um, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Hope you guys have a great day. And I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you and um, welcome to all my new subscribers and current subscribers. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Again, if you haven't saw the video for the giveaway, please take a look for it. It was one of the videos posted on Halloween and I'm going to let you go through and find which one it was because one, I don't remember what I titled it. And two, um, you got to work for it, people. Come on. I can't do all the work for you. Go, go find the video. Go ahead. Go find it. I'm done now. I'm going to let you go so I can go back to crocheting up this pattern. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>